thanks to the gods, or else the whole city of Yopi will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. Wasn't Adromeda an Ethiopian princess? <laughs> you mind? Choo. And Aphrodite, please grant my daughter the virtue of obedience. Virtue of obedience. Hello. Eagle bearer, you bless this temple with your presence. If I may ask, I'm having a little problem. How I'm little? Problem. I'm a Spartan. You keep at home supervising farmers while I could be out in the world finding adventure. You give my brothers the chance to explore. Why not me? An because. explorer, are you? So you're the eagle bearer everyone's been talking about. I hope you live up to your reputation. I'm Zopheras. Could Hello, you please Zopheras. educate my daughter to behave as a Spartan woman should? What? How? If both you and Zopheras agree, I'll train your daughter to be a fine Spartan. Beginning with her physical strength, of course. It's the only way she can keep your household safe and prosperous. The eagle bearer is right, Mater. Spartan Mater. women must be strong. You can call me Alexios. I suppose if the eagle bearer says it. All right. Train my daughter as you see fit. Let's begin your training with running. Try to keep up. But Spartans what? never run. Only cowards do. Why should I train in running? Spartans run into battle. The faster you run, the more glory you can earn. That does make sense. Let's race through the theater to the entrance of the Dromos. Last one there's a wounded goat. Wounded goat? What is that? Wait, 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 wait. Yay! Where is she? Oh, there you are. Glad you could make it. I'll get you next time. Now we'll race horses. Race but not horses. Like they do in the athletic games. We'll make our own course. Horses? Why should I bother with those filthy beasts? We have Ilotes for that. What? Horses are your most loyal partners in battle. Treat them well, and they'll never disappoint you. That's really sweet. Let's race to the bridge south of Sparta. Ready? Go! Go! Excuse me! <laughs> Grandfather was a true hero. Maybe one day. Wrong I'll way. The statue of me. Come on. That's not fair. Shortcut. <laughs> hey. I want again. That's how you master a beast. That was more speed than mastery. Oh, oh yeah. my lessons You're so right. far, so for us. Not bad. But why did you decide to teach me anyway? Don't you have more exciting things to do? Like Treasures what? to find, tyrants to depose. Uh the secret is by teaching a skill to someone else, you're also improving your own technique. That's the only way you'll both reach peak performance. You'll have to show me your technique. Do you have a suggestion for our next bit of training? There's a place I found in the southern hills with a wonderful view. Will you go there with me? I like the view already, but let's go. So, does that bird follow you everywhere? Icaros. Yes. He Icaros. likes to keep an eye on me. Are you jealous? <laughs> if you don't mind ah, me not you. I don't either. If you know the old stories, you know what Zeus is especially good at. You have that kind of talent. Just call me Pandora. <laughs> Oopsie, sorry. Uh oh. Beautiful, this is isn't beautiful. It? Absolutely. I think I'm beginning to understand you, Alexios. Really? Are you? Tell me, who do you think I am? It's hard to predict how you'll answer my questions. 
You're a complicated person, aren't you? Yes. You might be right. But really, why did you bring me out here? I thought we could continue with some more intensive training, Alexios. If you've got some energy left. I'm tired. I'm your teacher. You're my student. <laughs> and besides, your mother would not be pleased. But I'm glad I impressed you with my teaching. That's my mother, doctor. 35,000. Hello. Not be You're not one of my soldiers. You better have a good reason for being here. Uh... We Spartans stand together. So here I am. Yes. Spartan blood matters most. Looks like this victory will bring you glory. The rewards of skill and effort. It's the Spartan way. From slave to general, bathing in the blood of this war while our leaders stuff their faces and preen. The Polemarchos believe it's an easy victory. I will end this war in my favor. You have a strategy? Athenian Polemarchos are paralyzed with indecision. They serve too many masters. Making them slow to react. And that's where you come in. Infiltrate their forts and kill the Polemarchos. I need a way clear for my troops. Okay. I'll do my part. Consider the commander is already dead. Bring me their Athenian seals as proof. Not another seals. Come on. Uh, I don't need ladder. I don't need steeds. Hey, you. You are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the deal. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? Yes, where do I fit into this? And worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. I'll do it's it. an odd request, but I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of the Onisus Colonatas for today's episode. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. Perseus? I know his story well. As if we were cousins, both raised at the base of Mount Olympus. <laughs> Do not fear. I will hold your children fast with my tail. Let's do this. Hello, I'm... The Eagle Banner. We've heard all about you. Are you really? going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Oh, yes, really? And, yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the gods about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. The great god of the sea, Poseidon, visited a mortal woman, Sara, a fisherman's daughter. The god of the sea frolicked with her in the shape of a dolphin, and she knew his love. <laughs> This a kissing story. <laughs> Relax, I'm just setting it up. Soon, Sarah gave birth to a child, the half-blood hero, Perseus. I thought Perseus's mother's name was Danai, like my sister. Yeah, and his father was Zeus. Ah, uh, well, that's true in some versions. Anyway, wait, 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 wait. Point, where are you going? Perseus fell off a boat and almost drowned. Okay, this is hard. Uh... Perseus and his mother Danai were rescued on the island of Seriphos, and Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Victis. Lucky them. Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too. Yeah, good for you. Accept swim, or be just. Hush. Now, Victis's brother was ruler of the island. 
But he was not a good man. He's scum. I will order my journey. Perseus goes on a possible mission. Quest to stop him. Perseus is beautiful Andromeda. Must solve impossible riddle to save her. Uh, this one? When Perseus grows up, he travels to Iopi and falls in love at first sight with the beautiful princess Andromeda. However, Andromeda's mother boasts that her daughter is more beautiful than the goddess Thetis, offending her. Never say you are better than the gods. Thetis proclaims that Andromeda must be sacrificed to the gods, or else the whole city of Iopi will be destroyed. I don't think that's right. Wasn't Andromeda an Ethiopian princess? <laughs> Ash, Perseus asks his grandmother, Tala, how to save his love. She turns into a manta ray and says, to save Andromeda, he must bring back curly hair of gold, fit for the king of the mountains, who yet owns less than the humblest Ilot. I yeah. don't know that riddle. It's too, gone. too hard! Uh, it was hard for Perseus too, but eventually he figured it out. How? He just did his all. Perseus figured out what he needed. The golden fleece of the winged ram, said to be guarded by a monster who could turn any to stone. Luckily, Perseus was blessed by the gods, and he was guided by Athena's golden-geared owl to the monster's lair. Athena's golden owl? That's dumb. Sounds cute. I want one. And armed with the vorpal sword from the mighty Olethros, he faced I have reached the level 55 at this game, no, I'm headed, waiting for Hala for the release. Oh, nice! Stony gazed, Did you play as Alexius no. or Cassandra? Huh? Alexander, if you don't mind, I, I'm asking. The sword, lopping off the creature's head. Ew! He grabbed Ooh. the golden face and wrapped the Katovlepas' head in it. Then he flew back home astride winged Pegasus to save Andromeda, who was about to be eaten by the Kraken. He used the deadly head to turn the Kraken to stone. Wait, the what? What's a Kraken? Uh, like a giant, giant squid? Octopus. Don't you mean the sea monster Ketos? Pretty sure Homer yeah. said, release the Kraken, not release the Ketos. <laughs> With Alexios, great up. game, full action, great graphic. Yeah, I agree. And the quest is so many. That was not all. Hades appears with a pack of giant scorpions called Scorpiochs and kills Andromeda and tries to kill Perseus. Huh? But Perseus throws his sword <laughs> of Zeus at Hades. I have no idea what I'm the doing. <laughs> wait, wait. It's supposed to be Hermes' sick. Uh. Andromeda doesn't die. You're telling it wrong! Uh, in the end, yeah. Perseus wins. Just Zeus failed the mission. to make him a god, but Perseus refuses. So instead, Zeus brings Andromeda back to life, because she was only mostly dead. Wow, that was so wrong and so <laughs> You are a sticky storyteller, and that story was poop! Yeah, I am sorry I agree. for your audience, Eagle Bearer. Though from what I heard, it did sound like you deviated somewhat from the traditional tale. Uh, apologies. Bye bye. <gasps> oh, it's still complete. Okay, I'll take that. Level up. Yeah.